Today I'm showing you the top 10 NBA MVP seasons of all time, ranking each superstar's year by their unstoppability, iconic moments, and how much they went on to carry their teams in the postseason. First, two shoutouts since we skipped Speak's last video, Toronto, who correctly predicted the NBA would resume because they'd lose nearly a billion dollars, and Ben Liu, who says Wiggins' athleticism is the funnest asset to watch at small forward. Question coming up for next vid shoutout, yearly giveaways for the top five on the Speaks board. The Cincinnati Royals were a team that eight years after Oscar Robertson had a historic 1963-64 MVP campaign for them, relocated to Kansas City, where they renamed the team the Kings. Then in 1985, they relocated to Sacramento, where they've had only two division titles and not a single trip to the finals. Even though Cincinnati was a first round exit, Robertson was 0.1 rebound shy of averaging a triple-double for the second time in his Royals tenure. He remained the only player to average a triple-double in a season for over 50 years, and for that, the all-around superstar Oscar's undoubtedly the best player in the history of the Kings organization. Based off fundamentally sound footwork and shooting mechanics, Larry Legend was able to regularly drain iconic daggers amidst his entire career. After all, though, Prime Bird, where he was the most unstoppable during his career, occurred in the 84-85 season. For the soon-to-be three-time champion, this was his second of three straight MVPs, but the only time he didn't win a championship in those campaigns. Despite Boston coming up two wins short of the title that year, the reason I picked this version of Bird is because this is when the sharpshooting artist was at his most elusive and quickest. Larry could seamlessly find his way open off the ball for jumpers and go off in the post. The then 29-year-old was in his physical prime, and I know we're not ranking the best players of all time today, but it'd be hard not to consider Bird a top 10 player ever. Easy Money Snipers, the nickname Durant wants us fans to call him by, maybe that can't be the case anymore, but the first nickname I brought up perfectly described how he produced on a nightly basis just over six years ago in 2013-14. He was dominating with a ball handling slash pull-up ability unheard of for a player with his wingspan. My favorite personal KD moment from this season was his and one in the second round of the playoffs falling out of bounds over Gasol. Just incredible to watch. But from square one in KD's illustrious OKC tenure, he launched himself into the NBA's most likable young rising talent and debatably had the status as the best player in the league in 2014. The seven-foot shot-creating mastermind was letting it fly from 30 feet and beyond, revolutionizing the NBA. Of course, only a few years later, though, it was off to the Bay Area to join the Thunder's conference rivals. In the most physical era of basketball of all time, where hand-checking and contactual aggressiveness that simply wouldn't fly with the strict rules in the game today, 1988 Michael Jordan didn't make any excuses. With an explosive first step, plus a mix of polished finishing and all-time great hang time, MJ was finishing plays in a fashion that no fan at the time thought was possible. The bad boy Pistons would end up taking Jordan's Bulls down in the second round, but MJ proved that he was the league's most marketable talent in 1988, winning his first of five total MVP trophies. Far prior to his airness flashing onto the scene, Kareem was widely regarded as the greatest of all time. Abdul-Jabbar mastered the ability to keep his defender off balance when backing down in the post, and with that sensational aspect of Kareem's game, given he has a 7'5 wingspan, he was able to drop 34.8 points and 16.8 rebounds per game in the 71-72 season. What many forget about the most brilliant post scorer ever is that he was a great passer as well. All around, Kareem set the standard for the near future for what a man his size needs to have in his repertoire to gain elite status. Ranking Steph Curry's 2016 masterpiece isn't purely based off the volume of his dominance. It's about how this man revolutionized the game. Cultivated in this shot, Side not to use it, Curry! Way down to Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! Chef Curry was cooking his defenders and seamlessly letting it fly from distance at such a high level that he changed the way the games play today. Curry's 2015 and 2016 MVP seasons had a big impact on the three-point shot in today's NBA, being deemed as an essential factor 
for a perimeter player to have in his game. The reason I picked 2016 Steph for this list is that the man took 11 threes per game and shot nearly a career high 45% from deep while putting up career highs in points, steals, and free throw percentage. With the pressure to win a championship off his back, the locomotive LeBron James had one of the most unstoppable seasons ever in 2013. Solidifying his reputation as an all-time great, LeBron's best regular season 2013 moments consisted of making a mockery of Jason Terry, which was the most infamous poster of this season. That dunk was followed by an iconic celebration after Braun hit the game winner. James also postered Ben McElmore and Paul Millsap in absolutely incredible fashion. Then in the postseason, there was his brilliant take to the basket for the win against the Pacers, and another iconic play in his stuff against Tiago Splitter. All of that 2013 campaign culminated in James leading the Heat out of a 3-2 hole in the finals to secure Miami back-to-back -back titles. It's a pleasure to watch you grow. Congratulations, 1999-2000 NBA MVP, Shaquille O'Neal. First of all, I'd like to thank Phil Jackson, the real coach of the year. My, my teammates and most of the Staples Center fans, because you guys are the best. This is y'all the world. Love you. Even though his name's not often brought up when debating the NBA's all-time greatest talents, Shaq's pure dominance in 2000 was debatably the most dominant season from a player of all time. People look back and say the big Aristotle got the buckets he did because of his size, with his 7 foot 1 and around 300 pound frame. 99-2000 O'Neal actually dominated because he was night and day quicker and more explosive than any big man by far, and had one of the smoothest, most polished one dribble jump hooks ever. It was his combination of power, speed, and grace that truly made Shaq's MVP season so damn special. The Lakers captured their first of three consecutive titles, with Shaq averaging an insane 38 points, just under 17 rebounds, and 2.3 blocks in the NBA Finals. Two numbers in his stat line are proof to why Chamberlain earns the number two greatest MVP season of all time. 33.5 points and 24.6 rebounds. That was this man's stat line in 65-66. Of course, people are going to make the argument he didn't have competition. And yes, this insane year from Wilt came a few years before Kareem entered the league, but he still had to deal with developed star bigs like Nate Thurmond, Walt Bellamy, Wayne Embry, and Chamberlain's toughest task at the time was none other than one of the best defenders at center ever, Bill Russell. Wilt's 7'8 wingspan, relentless hustle, in an insane 47.1 minutes per game allowed him to tear through any defense offensively, but he also had one of the best fadeaways in the post that you'll ever see. He's the best rebounder of all time, and his shot blocking puts him in the debate for the best rim protector ever. Right before number one, honorable mentions to 1993-94 Hakeem, 2016-17 Russell Westbrook, 2008-2009 LeBron James, 2001-2002 Allen Iverson, 1980-81 Julius Irving, 2004 Kevin Garnett, and 2010-2011 Derrick Rose. 40 years after the second-ranked Wilt, MJ was in his physical prime and also putting up a career-high 43% clip from three-point range. Michael's shooting and athletic prominence simultaneously were at their highest level in his career. Jordan also mastered the mid-range game and whether it was his post-fade or shifty one-dribble pull-ups, that shot was also at its peak during the 95-96 campaign, what many failed to truly take into account when arguing against MJ's GOAT status 
is his perimeter defense. He was undoubtedly the most intimidating force in the game at guarding the perimeter. This campaign saw Jordan win his first championship in three years for his staggeringly outstanding two-way production from October all the way through June, 96 Michael Jordan was an easy choice for this number one spot. For more intriguing top tens, along with other NBA lists, rankings, stories, and predictions, subscribe so you don't miss anything, follow me on Instagram at dflowhoops, and check out how accurate my 2020 return predictions were in my last vid if you missed it. This was D-Flow, I'll see you next video.